because I don't get super unlucky. Jake, the ultimate goal of the campaign is to diplovassalize Bosnia. Yeah, no kidding. The uh, the actual achievement run is. <coughs> Still dying. Yeah, the ultimate goal is no longer the achievement. Okay, so it may not look like we took much of a bite out of Muscovy, but we took four forts off of them. And that itself is huge. That means instead of having to do the whole crappy situation where we're sieging him down, having to defend ourselves, it's the other way around. He has to smoke on our forts for a while. And he has loans that he's got to pay off, so what a sucker. So with that, we have just enough lack of unrest to take care of these. I swear I'll send someone down there eventually. Even Rin is looking fine, so let's just send off the cannon. And then once the cannon's done there, I'll send him back to Azov as backup. Oh, what a terrible shame for you there, Muscovite troops. Well, I'm sure someone will give you... Gah, bloody Golden Horde, don't give access to the enemy. Alright, I need to annex the Golden Horde ASAP. Causing me all sorts of grief. I was thinking about giving them all this land, but now think again. Still wish to fight Kazan though, but I need Bashkira out of the way. Which means Nagai falls first. They have Chagatai. I don't know how big Chagatai is. But technologically I should be able to curb stomp these uh, Stone Age Horde folk. I like you, but I'm going to have to get rid of you. Do you still have access from Kazan, Jake? No, they cancelled it. And the reason I have this is because I have a, an extra ally. Might seem a little wasteful having Kandar all this time, and you're probably right. The amount of Diplo they've cost me to date is probably a few hundred. But I like having them there. They're just a little distraction that the Ottomans would have to deal with one way or t'other, should they come to blows with me. It's also an excellent opportunity for them to declare war on Kandar, and as their overlord I would get to call in my laundry list of allies against the, uh, against the Ottomans. Jake the Golden Horde name overlaps Kazan. Use the name Cassus Belly and crush them. Well, I have uh, a similar Cassus, but this issue of Bashkira is now quite worrying. Allied with Kazak. Hmm. Well, with a bit of luck, Golden Horde will get a nasty, or well, a lovely event, giving them a claim on it. Meanwhile, get coring, Golden Corp. Ah, all is wonderful. And with all of our rebel problems dribbling away, we can focus on some other conversions, I think. Better to get the most bang for buck whilst I have a wave of devotion, so that's Astrakhan. Astrakhan is a brilliant province and it's been increased quite a bit. I was really hoping it would get uh, an accepted culture, but no, no such luck. It's worth a look at the accepted cultures there, but I think we've converted all of it. Sure enough. As uh, cultures no longer become accepted, we're going to spend our dip to eradicate the cultures. Sadly can't do that here. Separatism is still really high. Blooming Armenian scum. Couldn't even pop out a Kara Kiyunlu. Now that would have done me a favor. Given me more to pick away from Kara. Okay, so... Thankfully, the people that hate us... Oh, shoot. Sweden just got support for independence, and they are going to go crushing on the Danes rather soon. Rebellious. Okay, I can... Uh, I can help this by fighting you and calling in Denmark. Sadly, Denmark has a truce with them. The moment it's over, though, I'm going to have to pull that trigger. Danish truce ends April this year. Oh, but that's not enough. I'd have to clear their debt as well. I'm not that rich, matey. No, that is, that is just asking to die.
but they also allied Muscovy. Okay, that's all right though, because if Sweden turns on them, I'm going to be allied in a war with Muscovy. What isn't so fine is that I would get a uh, truce with Lithuania. What the other side of that is, I could declare a separate war in Lithuania, calling in mighty Bosnia of all people. Okay, got to weigh up and see how that's going to go. There's no easy way to tell right now, though. Why would there ever be an easy way? Sarai. I don't remember Sarai being an 18 development province. Ever. Still. Like I said, when you have a wave of devotion, make use of it. There's no need to pay our units right now. Might as well build up a bit of a bit of a nice fat wallet and get our troops over into Azov because it's a nice central location and consider beating up Lithuania soon because uh, I imagine our friends are going to pull that trigger soon. Damn, I am out of infantry. Jake, claim Lithuania and hope the AI gives you that land. I don't run on hope. Oh my, thank you for building all these buildings. Almost tempting me to go collecting in Novgorod. Good, they have an administrator, so they're less likely to pull the trigger on me. Turn your crappy air into a general, Jake. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, he's well of age. You're fired. Soon we'll get Moskva. Odd that these rebels don't seem to want to rise up. Must be that good old orthodox feeling. Combined with you. Wish I had my estates to play with. Playing with Cossacks and then going back to this does feel like I'm playing with just one arm. I guess most of the time I am, but the point's there. It's one of the tough bits of testing the game. I was also eyeing up you, and it would be an idea to strike sooner rather than later with uh, these other considerations here. Tricky though. And the guy have a core here which is going to stop the golden coring. But I mean, the guy are no doubt going to be featherweight material in terms of fighting. Just not liking the idea of having to fight Lithuania with. Uh... Okay, so Sweden would be supported by Lithuania. But Lithuania would get crushed by Danish allies, myself, and Muscovy. Mostly Muscovy, because I wouldn't be doing much crushing there. Would exhaust Muscovy, though, but I don't like that. And if I declare my own separate war, then England and Poland get involved. I may just have to put my dreams for Lithuania on a boat and deal with them later. Golden Horde, on the other hand... Uh, they're still smoking a little bit of war exhaustion, but if I were to bring it crashing down on the guy, I'd only have to worry about Chagatai, and when have you ever seen a strong Chagatai? We can actually figure a thing or two out about the strength of Chagatai if we can find anyone that has rivaled them. Okay, Yarkand, for example, is rivaled with Chagatai, and Yarkand's... Um, development is 130. So we're looking at maybe 100 to 200 development for Chagatai. Actually, things considered, I'm not even that big, but... Uh, there's also Kiva, but, you know, what is technology to these hordes? I, I sacked so much of my miltech on generals there, but part of me thinks it was worth it. I think I should do it. And feed the Golden Horde some, give myself some others, and it opens up a new route of expansion which I can just keep going at. As long as I make sure to give myself this province, and that way I can Holy War you, and then we can take on Kazan. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, my disastrous lack of infantry, for starters.
That's almost acceptable. I mean, who, need, who needs more than 10,000 anyway? Good, I should strike before they, uh, they start thinking something else. Sure, let's do it. Why am I still hesitating? It's because I have that core there that I haven't done, but that's not something to worry about. And I should check where they still have cores. Sure, the golden horde is trying to core one of them, but... Ah, we'll be fine. Just do it. Jake needs another regency <laughs> council for his manpower to recover. Hey, I do like fighting wars. Especially wars that uh, you're not a shoe in to win. Also, please attach to me this time, Golden Horde. Again. It's not that I don't trust you, but I really do not trust you. Can also mothball you guys quite happily, but I'd rather do that from my capital. Whenever possible, defend your units. Oh, jeez, that's all you're bringing to the party? I don't even need to wait to get my morale back. I'm going to crush you. Uh, probably with a better general, though. Twelve days. There's no time. Kill them. It's one nice thing about fighting someone so strong. Makes all the other battles just pale in comparison. Remember, the damage you do is dealt is uh, based on the maximum morale, not current morale. That's why I'm not scared about charging in there with practically none. And look at that, their only fort is their capital fort. Shouldn't get too cocky though. I mean, my numbers are pathetic. And it just takes our friend in Shagatai. Okay, now I know about you. Tell me about yourself. 64 development, what was I even concerned about? Nothing. We should keep that siege guy now, but at least I can throw my air over there. Tell him to get to work. That's my time he's wasting. Yoruji says, just got here. What happened so far? Might not look much, but we dealt quite a big blow to Muscovy. And to our own manpower reserves, to be honest. But we did strip away four forts from them and took their capital. Which always feels good. Gain castles on Bosnia. You've taken the mick now, game, I can tell. It, I swear, as time goes on, it's just getting less likely that I'll be able to vassalize them. Why is my economic base tax falling compared to theirs? It's not like they've been... Okay, four increases there, but... Oh, hello! Mistakes were made. People died. Right, I should have seen that coming. But now Muscovy is at war with Sweden and Lithuania. We can accept this. They're not going to win against all of these. I mean, look who Sweden's at war with. Go for it, Muscovy. Dance to my tune. Could try accept, uh, occupying those and hope that I get them. Oh dear. You're being sent a far away away. Well. Oh my, Bohemia? Ah, your rival Denmark. Okay. That's far from good. Jake, pay your forts. Which ones? I don't think I need to pay the ones up there. And I'm already paying for Astrakhan. If they start coming from Muscovy and I don't see that coming, I think I've got bigger issues. Oh, 
Oh, then again, I'm at war with Lithuania now, aren't I? Consider it done. Okay, so what threw me off there? Kiva. Not even sure if Czechatai can get around to here. Enemies, Kazakh, Mongolia, Karadel, Yarkand. I find it very unlikely they're even going to find a route through all this. So I just need to get all my troops together and flatten them. I would also like to have a little Merc here. I think Muscovy's going to do the heavy lifting and that, uh... Oof, I'm going to have to lift quite a bit there. Okay, my Muscovy still have a fair chunk to throw at them and they'll no doubt take out loans to do more. And Sweden is going to get curb stomped, so it's okay. Don't know why I have to keep uh, convincing myself that everything will be okay. Maybe I have some deep-seated issues there. What a lovely time to get that, because I already had full stability. So Astrakhan can hold out for a while. We'll just keep our eyes on them. Astrakhan has river crossing penalties with Rin and Sarai. Which means we can attack them from Kuma, no problem. Alright, so the Danes feel defensive towards me. I wonder if they're not going to give me much land thanks to that. Really blows that I lost my alliance with um, Bohemia, though. Perhaps I could get it back with Hungary. But that might bring me into some Venetian hot water. I'm surprised the Venetians have not vassalized the knights yet. They've been allied forever. Trust is maxed out. I really want that alliance, though. I should spend some time investing in it. I've already got my good relations with you, but let's hold out for more. And... Well, once all this warring business is finished, we can get to the integration business. I see you there, Derpy. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come with me, Golden Horde. I need you to soak up some casualties for me. That's the spirit. Die for me. The rise and done. That opens the doors for the Muscovy. Or rather, Moscow. I don't know why I keep getting that mixed up. So they have a very unfortunately positioned fort there. That can be taken care of with the introduction of another Merc. Or the Muscovite forces, because that works out too. I sure hope you win hard in Sweden there, Denmark. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to be in hot water. Only financially granted, but still don't like that. Now, I would love to tell Golden Horde that they can do what they want, unfortunately. It's not going to work out that easily because we're in two wars. So they're going to want to do uh, their own thing in Lithuania, probably. I have nothing but information pulled out of my bottom with regards to that, but I still don't trust them there. I also don't trust my own management of troops. Why? Why would I march myself? over like that. For God's sakes, Golden Horde, get off of me. Ugh. Or as Patrick would say, Ek. No need to even besiege Rin. We've got that under control. For God's sake, get off me, Horde. What a scoundrel. And yeah, I know, I've got too many, um, cavalry there that I'm losing out in the combined arms bonus. But, you know what? He's going to be too scared to attack me anyway. Alright, here's hoping because Lithuania is probably going to turn on me. Keep him attached to here so that these units can actually hold out if push comes to shove and push will come to shove. Excuse me. X Initiative is asking about uptime. 
Why would people even have that? I wish we had the uh, functionality that um, Hitbox has, where it actually tells you that straight up, but we do not. Regardless, we are 1 hour 50 into this. And the night is young, even though I'm very unwell. I'm feeling very not good. But don't worry, I should be around for tomorrow's uh, developer multiplayer. Take a lot more than some uh, Swedish curse to keep me down. As expected. Oh. Oh, wow. That's not good. The AI cancels coring based on the old rules still. I swear I've seen that before. Oh, well. I can put that in my little book of bugs. Heartening is that they're not paying for those forts, probably because they don't have enough money. But I should be defending that. Fortunately, I have the power to do that. Get to it. Or don't? Sure. Well, boy, do I feel very happy that uh, Bohemia dropped their alliance with me. Austria is at war with Bohemia. The War of Austrian-Bohemian Unification. Are we finally going to have a counterweight to France? And finally a reason to ally you? Actually, you're going to look like a very tempting ally very soon. Always keep that diplomat free. Never know when you'll need him. Once no gay falls, we should be fine. Alright, as expected, he's going for Samara. I should back that up to the fullest of extents. Phew. Last thing I want is them securing a... Uh... Oh boy! Who are my allies again? Oh right! Virtually nobody. I got the Danes who are currently in another big-ass war. And nobody else who's my friend. I mothballed my fleet. Let's keep you guys uh, off your mission. Trebizond is in a bad position. Whew. Now I only just barely survived against Muscovy who had a lot more than this. And now, the Ottomans come knocking. Thankfully without superior tech, but jeez, my capital is going to fall in a heartbeat. And all my forts are up here. Hmm. Right, what are they declaring for? The reconquest of Biga. Fortunately, I was able to convert that. But this isn't going to go well. This is going to go quite the opposite of well. Stuck in three wars, about to get my ass severely kicked. Well, these guys are going to die. There's not much point hanging around there just to die, so get out. Don't know what's going to happen with you, but I'd rather you held that down, since you might not go for Kursk. Uh, who am I kidding? You'll probably go for Kursk. So that means I need to wrap up this no-gay war pretty quickly and go all-out defensive against the Ottomans. Probably going to call in Kara because they hate me. Shirvan is in without a doubt. Well, not yet at least. Not yet, but probably will be soon. Right, if I just get no-gay I should be able to get these uh, provinces that I'm after. 
Okay, you guys, you're just going to die there. We need you over in the safety of Azolve, and all the relative safety of Azolve. Come now, Nogay, you've got to fall for me. Odd that Katakunlu did not join in. What's the nature of their relationship? Mm, ah, Kata is threatened, so it's very unlikely that they would join such a war. This is not going to be good, though. It's a lot of places that are going to fall. Bosnia is going to add to the list of places falling. How oh, nice, they didn't go all out there. Luck is finite. He wasn't able to complete what he needed before his luck had lost. We're not done yet. Just got to wrap up the wars. Pay attention to my vastly dwindling amount of money, so let's fire who isn't necessary. Consider the money. Yeah, we've got places that we certainly don't need under our control here. You folks can go there. You have the Golden Horde attached to you. You do not. You're my Merc army. I'm gonna need you up north. And I need no gate to fall. That is high prio right now. Going for Kiev, so you probably want to go for a mall gully. Damn, the Swedes know how good they've got it. And the Danes have not yet marched on Stockholm. Uh, terrifying times. Well, I'm not far away from... Oh, actually. Trebizond is in an offensive war minus a thousand. Yeah, but you're in, uh, you're in another war. Well, maybe. I don't want to throw in the towel anywhere near this point, but they want to give them, they want me to give up three provinces and release another three. That doesn't work like that, but they'll probably try to push for it, especially if Bosnia is going to fall like a stack of dumb bricks. Those numbers are terrifying, and I do not have the numbers to throw them away. Mm. Okay, no gay, time to fall. I'm not even kidding anymore. How much development do you have, Jake? Probably about 440? 465. Wonderful. But what worries me is my lack of manpower, lack of money, lack of superior tech. Just lack. Alright, good. Nogay is down, so I should be able to secure a few things from you. That'll actually be fine if I end up giving... No, I wanted this for myself so that I could deal with Bashkara later on. But in the meantime, I should... Hold on, if I do that, I won't be able to get it myself, will I? Yeah. Wasn't that the whole point of this? Well, I don't have time to be fussy for this right now. I should just get what I can for the Golden Horde and then turn around and smash the Ottoman face in. As if I have such options available to me. Hmm. Shame that I can't get uh, more like that. Could if I held out, but I've really got to prepare my defenses against, uh... Fire the Force Limit Advisor and pray for something better, perhaps. But at the same ticket, nah. Damn, though, these Swedes. At the very least, the Danes joined me in here, and they're pretty, uh... Pretty keen to stay with it, but on the other